Hey everyone, Ben here and welcome to Motivation to Invest. I've got a really exciting video for you guys today. This is probably one of the most exciting videos I've ever done on this channel. There's a brand new SPAC going public for a disruptive insurance company, which could be a major competitor to Lemonade. For those of you that don't know, Lemonade is the disruptive insurance company targeted at millennials. Lemonade went public in July 2020 and I recommended that stock on this channel as a buy. Since then, the stock has rallied by nearly 200% and the actual IPO was one of the biggest of the year. Now, this next company, I actually think may even be a little bit better than Lemonade in terms of what I've seen so far from this business because the CEO actually seems to care. I've watched a few interviews of the CEO. He actually seems to care. He seems passionate about the business and about improving the business. So in this video, I'm gonna deep dive into the SPAC, give you guys the ticker symbol for this company. I'm gonna deep dive into the company. Nobody else has financials on this company yet because there's no SEC filing. However, I have personally found some financials which nobody else has. So I'm gonna give you guys all that in this video. And also I'm going to tell you guys whether I personally think this stock is a buy right now. Spoiler alert, I've probably already bought shares in this company by the time this video goes out. However, this is not financial advice due to the lack of full financial details for this company. So that's just a major risk. Without further ado, if you're new around here, feel free, join the investing family, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on. If you do like these early updates, feel free to give this video an early thumbs up that helps out tremendously with the YouTube AI. If you do want to know exactly when I'm buying and selling stocks and access my entire investment portfolio, you can also talk to me directly about your own investing and investing decisions. Then check out that first link in the description below for the VIP membership group. With that being said, let's get into it. So this is an insurance tech company called Hippo and is in talks to go public via a merger with SPAC. So that is just something for you guys to be aware of. It's still in talks, so it's not official yet. So you would be investing off a rumor at this point, which is a risk for this company. So the transaction with reInvent Technology Partners, a special purpose acquisition company that count Zynga founder Mark Pincus. Zynga is one of my holdings as well. Gaming company, great company and... LinkedIn co-founder Reid Hoffman as its lead directors. Reid Hoffman is the co-founder of LinkedIn. He's also one of the infamous PayPal mafia along with Elon Musk. Reid Hoffman is one of the most intelligent guys in the venture capital industry right now. And I think he's one of the greatest guys to have on board this back. This is the company here, reInvent Technology Partners. This is the SPAC company for Hippo. This is on the New York Stock Exchange RTP. For those who don't know where a SPAC is, it's basically just the new version of IPO. It's a lot faster and that's why companies tend to prefer it. As you can see, the stock was $10 like many SPACs that start off. It's only $13 right now. So this definitely could be an opportunity for you guys to get in there. Um, very, very interesting stuff. So this company specializes in ensuring everybody's most valuable asset, which they tend to buy in their lifetime, and that is their home, which they live in. Similar to Lemonade, they offer insurance in extremely fast amount of time, from 60 seconds to just a few minutes, in order to fill out a form and actually get a policy. Now, I've always believed most insurance businesses are really, really bad. They just don't seem to care about their customers. You can't really claim off them. Their policies are always for the wrong things. They have really bad customer service, and this company aims to actually solve all those problems and actually be what an insurance company should be for people. Quote in 60 seconds. None of this waiting around, filling out massive forms. Quote in 60 seconds. This company uses artificial intelligence similar to Lemonade to help with the whole process. But that's not all. The main unique thing with this company, which I've never seen any company do before, is actually give you, when you sign up for one of their policies, a series of smart home devices. These are cameras to protect your home, smoke detectors, sensors, and every other little gizmo you need in order to protect your home. This also allows the company to collect a vast amount of data on their customer's policy. The great thing about the customer, such as you guys, is it means their home is protected by all these different devices which the company supplies. And the great thing for the business is if they have all these devices in the home, cameras, etc., lots of cameras outside the home, etc., alarm systems, then it really does mitigate the likelihood of fraud for the company because fraud is a really common thing for insurance companies, people making false claims. And if they can say, well, we've checked our cameras here and we can see there wasn't actually a break and we see you breaking your own door and stealing your own TV, then of course the company will save money in the long term and also get genuine people 
as customers. The company also uses satellites to actually track the quality of your roof. So say your roof's got some damage on it, they can actually spot that from the satellite imagery and actually send someone over to your house to actually fix your roof for you. So it really is an all-inclusive home insurance service. And that's what I do love about this business. They actually care about their customers, which is such a rare thing to see these days. Nobody seems to care about each other, especially in business. These big insurance giants, they just don't really care about the average customer. To them, you're just a policy number whereas this company actually seems to have a heart and i think that could be a great selling point for this business for example during the california fires and many hurricanes in the us this company actually told many of their customers to leave their home we'll put you in hotels we'll send someone round to your home we'll renovate your home we'll fix anything that's broken and we'll get all ready for you guys to move back in what other insurance company would do that so this company does also send someone around to your house once a year in order to check everything in your house. So you may be thinking, Ben, that sounds fantastic, but do I really need home insurance? Well, generally in most people's lives, the most expensive thing they ever buy and the most important thing to them is the home that they purchase. So generally, most people will want to insure their home in case of a fire, in case of some issue in their home. So all mortgage providers actually require that your home be insured in the US. This is according to the Hippo CEO. I watched one of his interviews. So really, I'm very positive on this company at the moment. So another point that the CEO did highlight is many insurance policies cover really ridiculous things, such as somebody's stamp collection, somebody gold bullying, somebody that's really, really ridiculous things that the person may not even have in their policy. However, things like electronics, which most people tend to have in their home, expensive electronics tend to be capped at, let's say, $2,000. Whereas this company actually has a higher cap for their electronics, as they can see that that's the most important thing to many people in their home. And I completely agree with that. 4x higher coverage limit than traditional policies for computers and home office equipment. Because if somebody's going to break into your house, that's what they're going to be taking, the computers, the phones. They're not really going to be looking for anything else. House cleaners and sitters. So this includes coverage for house cleaners, babysitters, and the other essential folks who help you to run your home. I just love that. And I think just customers will love that peace of mind of having to find someone to actually babysit for their house. They can just call up Pippo, literally sort everything for them. Enhance rebuilding coverage, 25% increase in home coverage to rebuild in case of labor or material pricing surges that can take place after a catastrophic event. So basically when there's the California wildfires, when there's hurricanes, people's prices tend to go up for tradespeople. So if you want someone to come around and fix your home, well, they're really busy right now because they're fixing everybody else's home. Whereas Hippo has an on-site team and their prices won't increase during these major issues, which is now as this company is really a private company right now, and it's still in talks to go public with this back, there is really a lack of financial information on this company, but I have found some key details, which nobody else seems to have. So I'm going to reveal them to you guys in this video. And I think you guys will be pleasantly surprised. So the company currently has 375 employees. It was founded in 2015 and they had 44 original investors. Um, so this was obviously venture capital funded originally. So this is just a little bit of information about the IPOs between Lemonade and Hippo. So Lemonade, the competitor, its shares soared by 139% on their first day, closing at $69 per share. So 139% so on their first day. Now, admittedly, there was a lot more hype behind Lemonade at that time. But still, if this company seems to have potentially even a better product than Lemonade, then there's no reason why its shares can't also fly on opening day. Insurer tech player Hippo announced that it raised a Series E worth $150 million at a $1.5 billion post-money valuation. So today, Lemonade at $78 per share is currently worth around $4.3 billion. So you can see, due to that major share run-up, Lemonade is actually 4x the actual valuation of Hippo right now. But here's something very interesting. So Hippo also announced that it's gross written premium. So this is the value of insurance products sold before certain deductions of $270 million in the preceding 12 months, a figure which had grown 140% over the prior year. So this is 140%. Lemonade, in contrast, has a gross written premium of $160 million in 2019. So this was less than Hippo. 
up 147% from its 2018 results. So similar growth rate for Lemonade also, so very fast growing company. So it, Lemonade's IPO was actually worth a similar amount around $1.6 billion. However, today it's now worth around $4 billion. So you can see there's been a major run up for Lemonade stock and that's why I think this could actually happen the same for Hippo. Now, the reason a lot of investors are hesitating right now with this company is firstly due to the lack of full financial data. I've just actually found some financial data, which I've just showed you guys. So to me, that does give me a little bit of peace of mind with the company. I know, I know the roughly the valuation of the company. I know the growth rate of the company. I know the past two years revenue of the company. I've not seen the company's balance sheet. They could have a heat load of debt. Hopefully not. So a technical detail about this company, which is different to Lemonade, is Hippo Insurance Services operates as a managing general agent. So it actually did an acquisition of a company called Spinnaker. And basically Spinnaker is the company which does all the insurance underwriting for Hippo. So that's just a few points with this company. I did watch an interview with the CEO. Very, very interesting. What I like to see when I'm looking for a great CEO is passion, enthusiasm, and customer care. And that's what I saw when I listened to the CEO in his interview. So to me, all these factors combining together, looking at the current um, valuation on reInvent Technology Partners, now RTP, it's only at $13 per share. So really the worst downside at this stage is 20% downside from um, $10 per share where it started, 19% downside, and the upside is incredible. So to me, it's definitely um, a buy right now. Um, of course, there's a risk which I mentioned, but yeah, I probably would have um, purchased this stock by the time this video goes live. I will alert the people in the VIP group. So if you're interested in the VIP group and also getting updated on early stock picks, exactly when I'm buying and selling stocks, in addition to my entire portfolio, then check out that first link in the description below for the VIP group. So with that being said, if you're new around here, also if you still haven't subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on. If you did find any value in this video at all, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. That helps out tremendously with the YouTube AI. With that being said, I hope you guys have an incredible day and I'll see you guys in my next video. Invest safe.